If you really want to hear about it, the first thing you'll probably want to know is where I was born and what my lousy childhood was like and how my parents were occupied and all before they had me and all that David Copperfield kind of crap, but I don't feel like going into it if you want to know the truth. In the first place that stuff bores me, and in the second place, my parents would have about two hemorrhages apiece if I told anything pretty personal about them. What? Anyway, I keep picturing all these little kids playing some game in this big field of rye and all. Thousands of little kids, and nobody's around, nobody big, I mean, except me. And I'm standing on the edge of some crazy cliff. What I have to do, I have to catch everybody, if they start to go over the cliff, I mean if they are running, and they don't look where they're going I have to come out from somewhere and catch them. That's all I'd do all day. I'd just be the catcher in the rye, and all. I know it's crazy, but that's the only thing I'd really like to be. I know it's crazy. You're damn right it's crazy. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I hate you I hate you I hate you. Sheesh. What a goddamn phony bastard. Looks like it's time for a beach party beach party beach party of 5 Dawson's Creek Beverly Hills 9-0-2-1-0. Beach parties are full of nothing but a bunch of lousy phonies. Horkalak and our finer new moo moo cow gonna do it gonna do it gonna vomit on you blue baby boo gonna vomit on you if a body vomit on a body coming through the right then the other body better get somebody like a buddy to clean his clothes for him hi yuck 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 no but really I hate you I hate you I hate you I love you no wait I mean I hate you I hate you la 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 now why me you now no really now why me you now listen god damn it I mean really listen now why me you Johnny's my best friend my best friend do you know what it's like to have a best friend and I don't mean like a puppy or a friend when you were 10, I mean like a serious goddamn practically life partner, but no homo, and you'd lay down your goddamn life for that best friend. I mean if you had to take a bullet for this person you'd do it gladly and in a goddamn nanosecond, just like that, because you want their life to go on even without yours. Have you ever had a friend like that? I bet not I bet not I betcha betcha not. Well listen you can't relate but Johnny. Johnny. He's my best friend. Do you even know that he's like a father to me but also like my best friend also he is my future wife. Rehashing some old favorites here tonight folks. Nothing to be done. So it goes. God damn it. The comedy well is dried up and full of raisins where the grapes of wrath used to be. Just ask Ken Rafonda. Now we meow 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 now we meow. Are you not done tormenting me with your ochre said rhymes? That's a lousy pun. A lousy phony pun. I wish we could have a beach party. We can't. Why not? Remember when Godot came and said we shouldn't? He came here and was like guys, no beach parties. Oh that's right. Whoops. He sure was a great guy, wasn't he? Oh, a real class act, that Godot. Not phony at all. A real life prince. Yeah, really great guy. Really something else. I wish everyone could meet him. It's almost like he gives life purpose. More lousy punts. Oi 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 oi. Okay now this is act two. We join our heroes in front of the school. It is early fall, one day after the preceding events, which was late summer technically. The crisp air rustles through the orange leaves that make the cloudless sky appear an even deeper blue. A child's bicycle bell rings. The mailman gives a kindly wave to the old man walking his dog. A perfect portrait of Rockwell's suburban dream. The gracefully awkward boy with the orange Jufro speaks. <laughs>
the foils on the train you goddamn bastard sleep tight yeah morons what the hell ya doing staring at me don't stare at my feet I have two perfectly normal feet ya phony bastard bang I shot myself I am see more glass I see more glass bebop hoop do grab burba grab grab garbag bar gag grab 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 gg gg it sure is 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 c c c c senor it sure sure c sure c sure it's sure it sure is boring around here smear dear oh dear me g b g it sure is c sure c it sure sally the c sure c the c sure it sure is boring around here my boy i hate you marvelous get out of my fucking house this is my house get the fuck out this is an homage to the works of a very great and innovative director i think i'm gonna vomit no seriously, don't give me that look from off screen, I really and genuinely feel nauseous. Oh god, I should lie down. I wish I could lie down right here on the steps. I feel like, you know when you don't know, if food will help or not, like you think, if you eat you'll vomit, but you know it's, because you're so damn hungry? That's what I think this is. Or it could be, on new it could be an appendicitis, oh god, my mother had that, are those genetic? I can't have an appendectomy, I need my appendix, I only have one, I need it, it's so useful to me like society social commentary look out oh god, if I vomit with you be a buddy and find somebody like buddy glass to clean the vomit off my body coming through the rye? Be a buddy, and do that for me phony pony for me for me for me? For me. Is that a word? Jesus Christ what is going on I don't even know. You're doing good, I'm liking this soliloquy. Thanks, but now it's a dialogue faggot. Sob, 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 cry, 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 why, oh, why must you make me cry, why, 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 I don't wanna cry, but you make me sob, and you make me cry, and every time I cry, I just wanna die, boop, boop, be boop. That's a great song, if you set it to music, it can be your Mr. Holland's opus, except you're not Dutch. I knew an Amish guy once. Nice guy. Good work ethic. Worked the day shift at the graveyard and the graveyard shift at the days in. He built himself up from nothing to a state of extreme poverty. Okay that's two separate quotes in a row, I think this tank is dry. Act 3. Early autumn. Early fall is long gone. The two boys stand in front of the school once more. School is never in session apparently, but what's a guy to do? Red speaks again. Ha! Here, 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 I was a flower of the mountain, yes, when I put the rose in my hair like the Indolution girls used, or shall I wear a red, yes, and how he kissed me under the Moorish wall, and I thought, well, as well, him as another, and then I asked him with my eyes to ask again, yes, and then he asked me, would I, yes, to say, yes, my mountain flower, and first I put my arms around him, yes, and drew him down to me so he could feel my breasts all perfume yes and his heart was going like mad and yes I said yes I will yes you cross the line no 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 excuse go away forever goddamn phony and scene whoa good job pal thanks buddy I think that was the take that's the one yeah I felt the magic there really great balance we struck a really good balance I think totally yeah I felt it well, uh, I mean, I don't know, is that a rap? Jerry? Is that a rap? He's not, is he nodding? What is that? Jerry, is that rap? Cut, scene, print, right? Yeah, come on, Jerry, what is that, is that a nod? A shrug? You're directing here. And? Okay, no, yeah, that's it, that's a rap. Great. No, really, it felt good, I liked it. I think we both kind of gave as much as we took. Very, uh, very well balanced. Totally. Yeah, great. Okay, well I'm heading out. Gotta run. Alright, well, I'll just stand here. Yeah, you know what? I think I will too.